What's going on guys? It is your boy Anthony Say Gamer and uh, look at the Zorks pain. Um Well, it's Orcs Bane with 9 and 10 Flame God, 9 and 9 Survival. He has Rudo as a pet. He's 13 of 13, breakthrough 30. He's got 9712 base damage attack and 238,000 base health. And then we have for equipment, we have because I cannot for the life of me roll a 5 of 5 Holy Conviction. It's so difficult. And we also don't have any traits to work with. Um, because it's Orcsbane and I don't think T. Dizzle wanted to roll for specific traits on this legend. So I'm going to take him out just as he is. And attack some bases and some legends head to head. Hold on, before we start the actual video, I just want to remind you guys that if my video keeps on popping up in your feed, please make sure that you are subscribed because the video would be there because you've watched one or two and you haven't necessarily subscribed. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Show your support by subscribing. Thank you. Let's do this. First up, we have my base with not the best of defense, not no defense at all. But um, yeah, just gonna place him in and see what happens. He is surviving the initial gun dovekeeper attacks. Um, he is dodging somewhat. He's got built-in dodge from breakthrough, and um, well, nothing much to say. He will die. But this is uh, not head on and there's no heroes to back him and help him in any fighting situation whatsoever. So um, like if I were to take him against my man x -Rubia, with a decent like an absolute beast decent defense. Let's see what happens. We've got the Sasquatch free straight from the beginning and he's dead because of well Ripper and Zephyrica. But uh, okay, I think head on would be the best way to actually test out this guy. And I'm gonna do head on both ways. So let's rather do that. But before I do that, I just wanna check him out in Insane Dungeon. I've got no idea what's gonna happen. I think my prediction is place die, place die, place instant death upon placement. Oh well. As soon as survival said, nope, we're not helping anymore, he dead. He dead. No wardens, no pets, just pure talent, insignia, and hero strength. Okay, Orcsbane versus Levanica. No brawler, no pet. He survives the initial attack because of the negate. All damage for three seconds with the survival. Here comes the DPS. Is it enough to take him down? No, it's not. And there's no way. There is absolutely no way that Orcsbane will be able to take down Levanica. This is mostly me just testing. Can the legends sur survive uh, the attack? Can he tank Levanica? Any legend that can tank Levanica is good. Good on tanking, not good on attacking. Now imagine he could kill Levanica. Now that's a different story. Now that's something completely different. But that's also something I would like to see. But I doubt that that's going to happen. Especially on Levanica's hero base. So let's change it. Don't know if you guys noticed. But I'm also at 900,000 might at the moment. So I'm so close to that one more mark. Okay, Orcsbane, please take down this lava. Levanica does not have the extra hero defense or hero base defense. 
but he's still cap damage and he's got stone skin and sacred light with holy conviction and dodge so there is almost a certainty no not almost it is certain that Orcsbane won't be able to take down Levanica. Once again, this is just to see, would he be able to tank? And if he could, ma that makes him a good tank. But we all know since the beginning, since Orcsbane was released, it was before my time, but he's been a good tank ever since that. His, his initial release was a healer that can tank. That is what he is made for. That is why he's here. But let's switch it up to something different. Hopefully he kills some high level heroes. Or not high level. Um, high profile heroes. Let's see if that happens. Creation 01. Survival and empowered. It's definitely an option. So let's see if this is the dream come true. Will you take him down? Or would creation of one one shot him? I doubt that. He's gonna take creation down though. There he goes. Wow. Took him down, but that is on his own hero base. Would it be the same? Turned around. Okay, creation of one shot your worth. Would you be able to one shot him? No one shot in there. And there he goes. He's gonna take him down. He's gonna take down creation of one. For the second time he didn't because survival kicked in. Actually helped out creation there. But is it enough? Is it enough? No, it's not. Now, if he had forest ward on. Well, no, almost. That is so close. So close. And it, it's even more impressive because creation of one has the extra hero defense. Base defense. Of I think 45% but it's clear that Orgsbane is the winner yeah Forest Ward would actually help him out he's gonna take more damage but he's also gonna prevent this and I think it would be good because most legends these days has survival on and our heroes built to survive so I'm gonna put forest ward on him real quick and I just hope that makes a difference has a 30% chance to remove all conditions and restore 30% HP when attacked now I was I, I I think I was thinking of malaise malice or malaise or whatever you want to call it I think that is what I was thinking about do we have malaise in here yeah we do have malice calling it all sorts of names you know it is malaise yeah malice reduces the healing effect on two random enemy heroes by 100% for five seconds cool down eight seconds yeah that's definitely what I was thinking about I believe I would because empowered survival he's not gonna be able to heal himself there he goes malaise malice come on five seconds you've got only five seconds don't let the timing be just right BAM got it with that malice it's time to send into Firica and um, well I honestly don't know what's gonna happen head head on head to head or hero versus hero whatever you want to call it would he take him down relatively quickly he can't heal then he starts healing he now he's an opportunist so as soon as the condition is off where he can start healing he heals for so much it's absolutely crazy but look how much damage Orcsbane is doing to Zephyrica though. Come on, kick in, no heal. There we go. He actually does enough damage to be able to take him down. Because by the time Zephyrica gained enough, or, or he's busy gaining enough life, the no healing effect comes into play. And it's going to be, yeah, and he's going to take him down. Orcsbane is going to take down Zephyrica. Yes! Yes! 
That was very close. There for a second, I thought it's not going to happen. But that is on Org's Bane. Defense. What is the base defense, though? Um, info. Let's see the info there. It is plus 45% defense capability. Ah, come on, please. Don't let me down. Come on, do it for me. No. <laughs> no. No, sir. That wasn't a bad performance from Orcsbane. Not a bad performance at all. Now, Booga, Luga, Uga, man. Can you one shot this uh, guy for us? I doubt it, but uh, would you try? Nah, there's no way. No. The Flame God's gonna help kill this uh, guy faster. And um, not running any sort of debuff for Orcsbane not to heal himself. And Orcsbane is running a debuff in healing the m Malice. Orcsbane is going to win this fight. Like, um, I was not surprised. And there was a Warden to help him. Okay, try and one-shot him. Let's fight one more guy, and that's gonna be Walla Walla. Because I wanna see the healing. I did get my occultist up to break it 30. I put the flame guard back on him, leave him with survival. I don't know why I have survival on Walla though. It should be empowered, but okay. But let's see if Orcsbane can stop Walla's healing by enough for him to actually take him down. Let's see. Okay, Walla's healing and he's healing. And he cannot, he, it popped up because Walla Walla debuffs. It literally pops up and then he just removes that buff like that. But then again, he cannot put out enough damage to take down Orcsbane. Where's Walla's prop going to? Oh, it's going to Ninja. My Walla's a weakling. He can't even take down that Ninja. But he's about to take down Orcsbane here. Yeah. But, okay, this is not an impressive fight at all. I want to put him up against a cultist. Now that I have a cultist, I should actually do a video on a cultist. So, if you guys want to see any sort of setup with a cultist, please let me know. So, I can make it happen. He's got empowered in stone skin. Let's make this the last fight. Let's make this an epic fight. Please, Augsburg, kill this occultist. And a cultist has a warden. Okay. Let's see what my occultist is made of. I know he's made of stone skin and empowered, but would he be able to take down offensive? I highly doubt that. It's gonna happen. Defensive? That's a different story, and I think that is actually where occultist is gonna shine against this. Orcsbane, but uh, as you can see, Orcsbane, nothing much is happening to him. So, I'm going to switch it around and see if he can tank a cultist. I hope Orcsbane tanks a cultist, because that would just make my day. A cultist is a brilliant defensive legend, but... Um, not against Orcsbane, it would seem, eh? Well, that is it for this video, boys and girls. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, in the comment section, leave your suggestion with do you want to see me do an occultist video and what I think is best. And let's see if we can make a beast occultist that will actually kill on offense and not just defense. 
And that being said, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.